guys, this is Rick coming at you with Weed to No Basis, the podcast for all things cannabis business related. Are you an entrepreneur? Have something you wanted to create, something you wanted to bring to life in the cannabis industry? Maybe you've always wanted to partake in one of the biggest industries in modern day history. This is the podcast to listen to. That. Tell us about the genesis of Reef. Why? Why did it start? Why did you choose to start a CBD company? Well, it was because of my wife um, for the past uh, we've been married 12 years, and around the six-year mark, she began having major anxiety uh, to the point where she was having uh, episodes and flopping on the ground like a fish. So we didn't know if it was epilepsy. We didn't know what it was. So we, we went the hospital route, and we went um, um, all the routes that you can with the doctors and psychologists, psychiatrists. But there comes a point where you surpass them on what you know because you're living with that person. And you find yourself um, getting, uh, getting put to another person that may know something more about it because you've tapped me out. So then after 10 of those, I mean, it gets old because nobody really knows what they're talking about. And you're a guinea pig to all the pills that they give you. So she was put on Zoloft and Xanax, but 200 milligrams of Zoloft, Xanax every day uh, for six years. And if you know anything about pills like that, you're only supposed to be on them weeks, not months at a time. And so it, it ends up hurting you. So <clears throat> I was losing my wife. And about six years into it, her past came back. She was abused between the ages of two and six. But suppressed it for many years until I gave her a loving home. And I cherished her and loved her, gave her a safe haven. And then those nasty things started coming out to the point where she had 12 people in her, which we call littles. And they each have their own identity and name. So it was hard for myself, of course, working full time to watch my wife. Thank God I'm self-employed because I had to check, check on her many times like an injured puppy. But I didn't know who I was going to confront at the door when I opened it. Was it Sonia? Was it Diane? Who was it? So that was very tough for me being an EMT and a firefighter, never seeing anything like this in my life. So I said, I need to help my wife because I'm losing her. And I'm going to, you know, for your wife to tell her that I no longer want to live and, and I'm being a burden to you, that hurts. That hurts. So it made me get off my butt. In, even though all the stuff that I knew medically and the fields that I've been in, nobody knew what was going on. No one could help her. We're just a number. Here, go home, take this. But when I went home, I had to live reality, not that doctor. If the doctor had to live my reality, this whole world would change. But they don't. It's my life, and I understand that. But I have control, and I'm one that takes control, and that's what I've, that's what I've done all my life. So I did it in this manner as well three years ago. I got my first bottle of CBD, and I got it from Switzerland or Sweden or somewhere. It didn't matter. I wanted to try something. I got it. It came. It was green, goopy, nasty, tastes like crap, but it worked. It worked, man, and I saw a change in her right away. But then it was the time where they weren't taking MasterCard anymore, and they were taking Bitcoin, and I didn't want to get into all that, so I, I couldn't get that product anymore, but I got it elsewhere when it came to the States. So I said to myself, I, had, I, I need to make my own product. I need to go out there and get product first. So that's what I did. I became a wholesaler for the top industry products like Joy, like Select, some of those big, big people, top five, top 10, and started using that on my wife and it started working, it started working. And then um, I said, I wanna create my own. I wanna make my product better than anybody's out there and I'm, I've got the top five that I'm selling. So I've got the perfect products to, to, to R&D for my specific product that I know that will be better. So that's what I did. I created Reef Natural. Reef because of Jamaica. I'm, I'm tied into Jamaica and, and, and a lot of stuff with Jamaica. That'll be a whole other segment. But, um, but uh, Reef came from that respect, being either a big wave reef or a reef coral. Um, I'm, I'm an avid diver, night cave dive, uh, sea and fresh water, whatever. But, it got me into what did I want my brand to look like? Because that was really important to me. I wanted the taste to be great. I wanted the effects to be unbelievable. But 
I wanted a great looking brand. So I spent a lot of time developing it. I got the brand I wanted. And then I thought I was done, you know, but I was only starting because there's so many facets of what we have to do as owners of a CBD and hemp related product company. Um, there's many things that you have to do to create these labels. You have to have a logo, of course, but then you have to create what's in it, what is actually in that thing. So then it gets you to the COAs, the certificate of authenticity. Um, so you know what's in your product. And that's huge too. So I got that, I got that going, got my first seven products out in 2019, uh, which ranged from a water soluble to a pet product to a, a isolate 500 and 1,000 to fruity gummies and sleepy gummies and uh, muscle and joint balm. So my first seven products came out and I knew they were better than everybody else's. So I kind of petered off, so to speak, CBDWiser.com, which is one of my companies which sells other products. Um, and I began um, developing my products and R&Ding many others. So that's what it starts with. It, it starts with whose product is the best and how do I get it and make it better? That's what I do. So that's pretty much where Reef started. And what I noticed is that our product, I changed Sonia's regiment from the other people's oils and products to ours only. And then we started seeing the real effects. So it took us six months to wean her off of the Zoloft and the Xanax. But she, since uh, six months ago, she hasn't taken over 500 something pills that would have been in her belly. And it's a big sack like this. I mean, it's huge. Uh, is it a cure-all? No. She still has episodes, but they're far and few between. And they don't last for nine hours. So that was great. So my wife got her life back, and I got my wife back. And that's what Reef did for us. And then my thing was spreading it to everybody else that I could. Um, and not worrying about how much money I'm gonna make and all that kind of stuff. I just don't want, I wanted to help people, just like I was an EMT and a firefighter. That's what I did. I was a volunteer, I didn't get paid. But you know what? I got that feeling every time, like, like hitting a hole in one in golf. You know, that's what brought me back. So I'm here to help people, that's what I'm doing. <laughs>